Welcome to Success Superstars, episode number 199, your place for inspiration and the blueprint of success for peak performers just like you. And my special guest today, Jordan Woost from Wichita, Kansas. Jordan, welcome. Pleasure to be here, Mark. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm so glad to have you. you know, and I was telling you, I have a special place in my heart uh, for Wichita. Uh, my grandmother lived there. I spent a lot of summers in Wichita. Uh, what a great city uh, that you're, uh, you live in. It's such a phenomenal place, heart of heart of America here. We love it. Yeah. Now, were you born and raised there? I was not. I actually grew up in the uh, Mojave Desert of California on a naval air, air weapons base. So I'm a transplant to Kansas. Well, we know that. And, and military families on this Veterans Day, thank you for your service for as a family member. Uh, now, how, how did you tell us the path of how you got into uh, being a broker owner of a JPAR franchise. What's the journey that, that brought you into the real estate business and eventually being a, a broker owner? Absolutely. Yeah, great, great question. I always love kind of sharing this story uh, with my agents and, you know, folks that are interested in real estate. Uh, so I really took on real estate in 2015 as a hobby. Um, I had a good friend of mine in a, a town just about 30 minutes north of Wichita here that uh, um, I was actually running and operating a convenience store for uh, Kroger up there and uh, one of my favorite customers was a real estate broker and every time he came in I'd always ask him you know hey how's the market uh, what's going on in the industry and I it, which is something that always intrigued me so he said you know one of these days you ought to really look into it and I said well I'm, I'm working towards this uh, accounting background uh, while working and raising a, a small family here uh, and so ultimately I got it like I said I took it on as a hobby uh, mentored under him for a little bit got into the accounting uh, deal and found out I hated sitting behind a desk. So I uh, I really uh, found that, uh, you know, sitting behind a desk eight to five was not my thing. I found as I was slinging some of those real estate deals as a hobby uh, that I was really uh, finding more interest and in, in feeling more fueled up and fired up uh, mm -hmm. taking on real estate deals. And again, sitting behind a desk, crunching numbers on spreadsheets. Yeah, so you followed your passion. I did, yeah. What Was that scary? Did, did, did that... Did you have doubts uh, and, and how did you move past those doubts? Yeah, you know, I tell you what, going from a, you know, a, a com comfy, cushy uh, salary, if you will, to not knowing when you're gonna get your next paycheck. And again, um, at that time I had, when I decided to make the leap of faith, um, I had two young kids at home. Uh, and, and fortunately my wife was is a working wife and she at the time was a uh, nurse. And so, uh, you know, we had a little bit of stability there, but it was still super scary. But the thing I figured out, the thing I've learned in this business over the past five plus years is, you know, you really got to be fully committed uh, in this business, frankly, any business I would imagine uh, to be able to find success and be successful. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, so fast forward and, and now you you have a thriving uh, brokerage as, as part of the JPAR network. Uh, that hasn't been easy, um, but, but you're seeing lots of success. Uh, uh, you had amongst your ranks uh, a little bit of a tragedy and, and that uh, helped us all remember what's truly important each day. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, launched JPAR Leading Edge here in Wichita, January of 2020, or 2021, excuse me. Uh, so the beginning of this year, and um, <clears throat> part, part of that, you know, being fully committed piece. So as I jumped into real estate, I, I found out it, you have to be fully committed to it. Uh, opening up this brand, I thought, shoot, if I'm gonna do it, and if I'm really gonna develop agents and uh, uh, kind of follow the path of this mission that I wanna be individually, but then also that aligns with this brokerage, which is why I fell in love, you know, top producing full-time agents, I need to be fully committed to my agents. So I stepped into a role of a non-producing broker so that I can develop uh, my agents, and, and I found great success with that. Uh, we are, we're up to 20 agents as of right now, uh, like I say, just being open since January. Um, I had a goal of getting up to 10. Um, we're seeing a lot. I, I, I found as scary as it was jumping into real estate full time, it was even probably equally as scary jumping into real estate uh, with this brokerage as a non-producing broker, no longer producing my own sales and relying on the team. But I found that that's been super successful uh, in, in developing these agents. and. Uh, yeah, over the summer, we uh, uh, one of our actually top producing agents here, uh, Samantha Russell, she was a phenomenal agent of ours. Uh, we unfortunately lost her in a, in a tragedy. It was a, a really tragic car accident. Uh, she was nine months pregnant. Uh, thank God her, her son uh, made it. They were able to uh, save her son, and uh, he's 
growing up with his dad, uh, super doing super well. Uh, we're still really connected with that family. And uh, I tell you, you know, through tragedy, there was there was opportunity there. You know, uh, the dad has a, a son to grow, uh, grow up with, help grow up. Uh, you know, the family has a legacy to carry on. And then also, I think that that really brought our, our culture uh, even more together. Uh, you know, we, we really found that we are a tight knit family and, you know, through tragedy, it kind of brought some uh, eye opening opportunities for us to really just kind of connect and graft more with each other. Yeah, it brought everybody, everybody together to, to focus on what's really important, which is family and, and those who you work with every day is more important in some cases than actually what we do every day <laughs> at work. But uh, so, so my heart goes out to, to you. And I, I know that was a, a tragedy. And but the legacy of, of, of her son will be a a great legacy and I know they'll be in your life for you know for the rest of your business career and life well Absolutely. have you found that there's one or two things that has been really important in your success or the success of other top producers yeah um, like I say kind of that 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 mentality of being fully committed mm -hmm. uh, you know you can't go into this thinking I'm gonna put part-time effort and really become something of it uh, would be kind of point one and then point two is uh, having the the mentality that you know you're going to have waves in this business where you're going to have really good months you're going to have really down months uh but with that you need to always be uh, prospecting we found you know a lot of newer agents in particular uh you know they tend to get so inundated with their current deals that they forget to prospect so you know that when this 45 to 60 days is up and then they're like crud what do i do now you know they're 45 60 days out from being able to collect another check so uh, being able to navigate and ride those waves and figure out that yeah you're busy as all get out over here with your current deals but don't forget to prospect over here so being fully committed and always prospecting i found of uh, are two of the major successes to becoming a real estate agent yeah. because if you don't you have the peaks and valleys of you're rich you're poor you're rich you're poor you're rich you're poor right rich poor exactly rich, poor. <laughs> and you want to eliminate those peaks and valleys now one of the right. things i found to eliminate the peaks and valleys is at jpar one of the key fundamental things we offer is inside real estate's KV core, which is not only a C CRM, but a lead generation. The CRM is something that we live in. We live, breathe, in a sense, have an intimate relationship with our CRM. H have you found that to be true as well? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, when I think about when I was a producing agent, uh, I mean, I left a lot of money on the table because where I was, we didn't have a CRM. Uh, and that would have really helped with my peaks and valleys as well, because I was that agent um, I'd have to catch myself and go, wait a second, I'm, I'm way too involved here. I'm forgetting about the prospecting piece. Uh, but there were times that, you know, honestly, I, I lost out on opportunities because I wasn't nurturing these leads. And, you know, I, I, I tell all of our agents and as I'm recruiting, uh, talking with other agents, you know, the CRM that we have is truly a powerful tool. You know, to the point you're so busy over here, let that thing automate uh, touches for you. Uh, let that thing, you know, put it on a campaign, customize your campaigns and uh, continue to be prospecting while you're uh, you know, so focused on closing these deals over here. So it's a powerful tool for sure. Yeah, for sure. And so if you're a JPAR associate, make sure you're taking advantage of KV Core. We just did a study that showed those who are fully using KV Core are closing three more transactions per year than those who aren't. And if you're not with JPAR and you'd like to have a confidential discussion around uh, our tools and resources, head over to jparready.com and we would love to have a confidential conversation with you. Well, Jordan, as we wrap up, uh, anything you'd like to share with the audience as you prepare for the new year, uh, as you're wrapping up this year and you're preparing for the next year, anything you'd like to share with the audience? Yeah, so uh, I've, I've challenged our agents here uh, since October 1st. We did a 90 days to level up uh, challenge with our agents where um, we all got together. We had a, a group business planning session uh, where you know we talked about the pillars of business planning and, and the reason why uh, you need to have it on paper. Uh, and, and we talked about that. We all left with tools and knowledge to uh, be able to go home and prepare these over the next uh, couple several weeks here. Uh, but then I also encourage them to you know take advantage of these last three months. Um, again, as I was a producing agent, some of my most successful months were uh, Q4 and early Q1 of the year. And a large reason for that is, you know, there's a lot of agents out there that start to kind of wind back. And I'm not saying take time away from your family by any stretch, uh, but what I'm saying is that there's there tends to be a lot more opportunity. Houses are still selling, people are still buying homes, selling homes. 
Uh, and so really exploit uh, this time of year where there's not as many agents out there uh, and create some opportunities. And again, start focusing on what you want to be, who you want to be, what your goals are for the for the new year. Um, I know we're really honing in on that here locally. And uh, I encourage anybody who's in this industry to, if you haven't already, get started. I love it. I love the level up in 90 days. I, I tend to work in 90 day cycles and 90 minute cycles. Uh, uh, you know, during the day I have 90 minute sprints where I turn off the phone and I work 90 minutes on a particular objective for the day uh, in 90 days, uh, uh, typically to prepare for things. My son and I are getting ready to go to Iowa in July. We're gonna do the second time our Ragbri ride where you ride border to border 550 miles. And, and of course that's more than a 90 day uh, sprint, but we're starting to train for that uh, here as the new year starts. Well, Jordan, it's such a joy uh, to have you as part of our network, such a joy to um, see you as a leader and as you develop and grow and to see your success. Uh, so congratulations. I appreciate it. I love being a part of JPAR Nation and excited to be at uh, this, this part of our growth as we make our way to all 50 states. There we go. And with that, that's a wrap on this episode. And until we see you again, may your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears.